Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and today I will talk about a brand new browser called Chromite. So Chromite is basically a Bromite fork and if you don't know what Bromite is, Bromite is ad blocking and privacy focused browser which is also a fork from the Chromium open source project. But unfortunately the Bromite browser isn't supported anymore because the latest release was on December 19th in 2022 so almost two years right now and the Chromite is basically a fork of the Bromite with also focus on the ad block and also for the privacy. Now you can download this browser on Android as well as on Windows and Linux. So this is something to be aware of. If you are using macOS, unfortunately you cannot use this browser. And here we have some of the Chromite's goals. So first one is limit the features built into the browser that can be used as a platform for tracking users habits. And if it's not technically possible, disable them and leave it up to the user to choose whether to re-enable them. Then the next goal is to limit the close integration between the browser and its manufacturer. And then the last one is not let the excellent research work done by Kazgen, which is the developer of the Bromite, be lost. Then down below it's also written, in addition, Chromite will like to promote greater integration with other non-profit open source browsers, encouraging closer collaboration with others and attempt to integrate them directly into Chromium once they have reached an appropriate level of maturity. Here we also have some of the limitations, basically why not to use this browser. Chromite's privacy features, including anti-fingerprinting mitigations, which are not comprehensive, are not to be considered useful for journalists and people living in countries with freedom limitations. So for that, if you're a journalist or if you are in the country with freedom limitations, make sure that you look at the Tor browser then. And please note that this project is also not, not free of bugs and that changes changing the behavior of browser itself can be risky and not without any problem. So this is something that you need to be aware of while using this browser, which is basically a fork of the Bromite and Bromite is basically a fork of the Chromium open source browser. Now here on this page, you will have some of the instructions of the installation for the Ubuntu as well as on the Windows. And the installation of this browser is quite straightforward as well. If you go here to the releases, here you will find many of the files. For example, if you want the Android version you will search for the file which ends with the apk then for the linux you will have this one with tar.gz and then the last one for the windows is basically this one right here which ends chrome-win.zip file so this is the windows version of this application and if you click on it you will get this zip file and make sure that you save it on your computer then you can navigate to your downloads folder click on the extract all and here you should have this folder called chrome slash win and here you will have the chrome application so this is basically the chromite application and if you want you can also just go inside this folder and move this folder to your local disk c directory somewhere here and this is what i actually did right here as you can see now let's go through some of the features of the chromite browser so here on the right you have these three dots and if i click on the settings here unfortunately it isn't as straightforward to update this browser because if you go here to the about chromite here you will see that you don't have any options to actually check for the updates and this is why on on their website here down below you will find how to basically update this browser of course you can always download or re-download the new release of this browser but here you have basically auto update setup for windows and what you will need to basically do to update this browser the new settings which are quite different from the the Chrome browser are right here. So this is the ad block basically. And here we can basically enable ad block plus, which is already built in inside this browser, which is really, really cool. And then here you have also to check for the updates. And uh, the next part, which is also very important is if we go here to the Mulvat. So this will check the browser. And here you can see that we have this very important stat, which is called no web RTC 
leaks. So what is basically WebRTS? It's a technology that allows users to communicate with video and audio directly in the browser without any plugins installed. And unfortunate side effect is that your real IP could be exposed, stripping you of your anonymity. So this is something that you need to be aware of while using that this browser also have this built in. So no WebRTC leaks, which is very, very important. And now let me show you how you can enable auto update setup for Chrome my browser for Windows. So this exact thing. So here you will have this link, you will click on it and then you will be redirected to another GitHub page. And once here, you will download this first file which ends with uh, the dash bin.zip file. So this one is very important and you will save it on your computer. Then you will go back to the Chromite website and you can copy this part of the code. Then navigate back to your downloads folder like so. And with the zip file, you will click on extract and extract it. I already did that and I have the file right here. Now what I highly recommend that you put this file inside your local disk C. So here I will just click on the cut and go to this PC local disk C and put it right here. And once you have it in your local disk C directory, you can open it like so and you will navigate to your launcher. And here inside you have two of the files. Basically, if you use the version of the Chrome with the 32 bits, you will navigate to the 32, but most of the machines are running today on 64 bits. So click on that. And here you will find this file called chr launcher.ini file. Now here, what you will do, you will open it by double left click. And here you will basically delete every single piece of the code here. Now, if we didn't copy this string right here, we can do this by just clicking on this button and make sure that you paste this all inside here. Now, don't save it yet because you will need to change one of the commands here. So the command which you will need to change is this one right here. Now here where it says in the brackets, my user, you will change that to your user. But if you don't know what your user actually is, you can navigate here to your local disk C like so. And then here you will see users folder. If you navigate to here, you will see the public one and my current user. So tick enthusiast. And here you will insert your name where the brackets are. So here, like so, and then you can just save the file just as it is. And then what you can also do, just make sure that you saved the file and then you can go back to your chr launcher file. And once here, you will see the chr launcher.exe. So you can click on this here and you can then check for the update right now. And here you can see that it's currently starting to download this update. And here at the bottom, you will also get a notification that the update just downloaded. And once here, you will find this Chrome EXE file. Now, this is basically the Chromite. And now you can also enable app container for renderer process in Windows. So make sure that you first copy the this command here and make sure that you also have Chromite browser closed. I have here Microsoft Edge open for this tutorial. Now I will go back to my bin where I have my chrome.exe. So this is basically the application where you should launch your Chromite browser. And once here, you can just right click on it and then just go here to show more options and down below enable create shortcuts. Now, if you scroll down, you will see your brand new shortcut for chrome.exe. You can right click on it and then click on properties. Now for the target, so this is very important, you will scroll next to the, at the end of the this string, click on space and paste this right here. So this, this command, which you copied from this website, you will copy inside this shortcut. Make sure that you are at the right target here and make sure then you also only have one space here. So if you click on space and you will have this enabled feature, click on apply here and click on okay. And now you can basically launch chrome.exe from here. 
and how you can basically check if you have that enabled you can go to chrome and you can go here to the chrome version so this page right here and here you will see this command line chrome exe enable features renderer app container so yeah this is pretty much it how you can right now use your chromite browser and how to basically update it so with that said this is pretty much it for this video i will leave a link for the github page of the chromite linked in the video description below make sure to check it out if you enjoyed the video make sure to smash up the like button subscribe to the channel if you of course haven't already and that's pretty much it have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you in the next one